Happy Monday, fourth grade. It's Mrs. Berkheimer from Baker Elementary. I hope you had a relaxing weekend and you are here and ready to learn. I know that I am excited and ready to teach. So before we begin our lesson, I want to make sure that you are prepared for class. You will need a pencil and something to write on. It can be a piece of notebook paper or your notebook that you are keeping all your assignments in. So when you have your pencil and something to write on, give me a thumb up. Perfect, let's begin. The title to our lesson today is, Here Comes the Turnpike. So before we drive right into our lesson, let's get our paper set up for learning. Okay, the first thing that I would like you to do is in the top right-hand corner, up in the margin, I would like you to put today's date. Today is April 20th, 2020. So I would like you to put 4 2020 and then capital S, capital S. That stands for social studies. If you put the date and the class on all of your assignments, it'll be easier for your teachers whenever they check over your work. Perfect. Next, I would like you to draw a straight vertical line from north to south. A straight vertical line from north to south. Nice work. Then I would like you to draw a horizontal line. Almost like you're drawing a line of symmetry. And now you should have four boxes on your paper. Perfect. In the top left box, I would like you to write neatly words to know. Words to know. Nice work. The top right box, I would like you to write the words, I think. I think. Great. We're almost done getting our paper set up for learning. Under the heading words to know, I would like you to write PA Turnpike. We're abbreviating Pennsylvania, capital P, capital A. PA Turnpike and Toll Road. At the end of our lesson today, if you can give me two to three facts about the Pennsylvania Turnpike and also explain a toll road to me, I know that this lesson was a success. So pay attention so that you can do that for me. Okay, I think we are all ready to go. Okay, go ahead and put your pencils down and take a look at these four pictures. One at a time, investigate each picture. What do you see? Now I'm going to come back to this screen in just a second. This is where you are going to fill in the part of your four square, I think. You are going to write your thoughts right here. Your thoughts about the pictures. I want you to make some predictions about a turnpike. So let's go back to these pictures. I would like you to pause the screen, investigate the pictures, and write some thoughts. So go ahead and do that right now. I can tell that you all did a great job. Now, before we go to the other two boxes, we need to take a look at our Studies Weekly. So week 17 of our Studies Weekly, the first article is Here Comes the Turnpike. I am going to read this first paragraph to you. As you notice, you can see that I already have highlights here because this is the information that I want to make sure that I talk about. So let's look at this first paragraph. First road of its kind. How many times have you traveled with your family on the Pennsylvania Turnpike? Did you know the road is famous in the history of transportation in the United States? Read that again with me. Did you know the road is famous in the history of transportation in the United States? Kids as far away as California and Alaska grow up learning about the Pennsylvania Turnpike. 
but most of them never have a chance to ride or drive on it. Lucky you, why is it so famous? And that's my lesson question. Why is the Pennsylvania Turnpike so famous? Now we're going to watch the video. And in this video, you are not only going to find the answer to that question, but you are going to find several facts about the Pennsylvania Turnpike. So I want you to listen so that when the video ends, you can tell me why it's famous. Let's begin the video. The first toll road in the United States was the Pennsylvania Turnpike. It ran from Philadelphia to Lancaster. It had many stops along the way where travelers would pay to get past the turnpike and continue on their journey. The money used to pay the toll was later used to create a more efficient road paved with macadam. Macadam was made from crushed limestone. This hard surface made it easier for wagons to travel west. At first, turnpikes followed rivers. To cross a river, travelers would have to pay to ride a ferry to the other side. Soon, the ferries were replaced with bridges and people would pay to cross the bridge. In 1935, the first highway was built across Pennsylvania. It took some convincing to get President Roosevelt to fund it, but it was soon realized that it was a quick, efficient way to travel. This highway was the first of its kind and paved the way for many other highways, turnpikes, freeways, and expressways in the future. All right, boys and girls, why is the Pennsylvania Turnpike so famous? Were you listening? Let me hear your answers. You are correct. The Pennsylvania Turnpike is famous because it was the first major toll road in America. Can you believe it? Right here in Pennsylvania, the first major toll road. A toll road is one where travelers pay at stops along the way. So there we visited the two vocabulary terms that I wanted you to really focus on. The Pennsylvania Turnpike, the first major toll road in America, and a toll road is one where you must pay at stops along the way. I highlighted a few other important facts from the video. I am going to have you go back and reread Here Comes the Turnpike. But some other important facts, at first the roads followed rivers, and it talked about how the ferries carry travelers across for a toll charge. However, bridges gradually replace the ferries. It also talked how it was um, took a lot of convincing to approve the funds for the project, but the first portion from Carlisle to Irwin opened in October 1940. And this new idea for super highways that would eventually crisscross all over the country began right here in where? Pennsylvania. So I think that is so cool. All right. Now, what I would like you to do is go to your third box, I know. And I would like you to jot. Anything now that you know about the turnpike. So pause your screen, do a few jot dots while it's fresh in your mind. What do you know about the turnpike or a toll road? So go ahead, pause your screen and do that right now. Okay, welcome back. Some facts that you may have on your web. First toll road in the United States, toll means to pay money, turnpikes first followed rivers, or the first portion opened in October 1940. So boys and girls, if somebody asks you, what's so special about the Pennsylvania Turnpike? What would you say? What do you think? Let me hear your responses. Yes, exactly. The Pennsylvania Turnpike was the first toll road in the United States. So let's check off our list. The Pennsylvania Turnpike was the first toll road in the United States. Check, we covered that. Toll roads are roads in which cars 
have to pay to drive on them. Check, we covered that. The Pennsylvania Turnpike opened for business on October 1st, 1940. Check, we covered that. Let's take a look at some other facts that I thought were pretty important. The Pennsylvania Turnpike made a quick and efficient way to travel and also made traveling by car better across the mountains of PA. Then I was curious about how many miles across the state, so I looked this up. The Pennsylvania Turnpike runs 360 miles across the state of Pennsylvania. So there you have it, boys and girls. That is our lesson about the Pennsylvania Turnpike. So let's take a look at your assignment. It's important that you complete your assignment because it shows your understanding and new knowledge of what you learned today. So first, I would like you to read, here comes the turnpike. So if we go back to week 17, the first article is here comes the turnpike. You can you know, read it to yourself or you can choose the option to have it orally read to you. You can also scroll down and take a look at where did the word turnpike originate? Where, where did that word come from? So this is also a very interesting article that you could also read along with, here comes the turnpike. So read here comes the turnpike in week 17 of Studies Weekly. Don't forget to answer the questions to earn your virtual coins. Number two, write a summary of what you learned in box four. So let's look at box four. Summarize what you learned. You're welcome to go back to my summary screen or my jot dots. So you could use some of my jot dots, my summary screen, some of your jot dots and create a beautiful summary. Now your summary does not have to be three paragraphs. It can just be a couple sentences, but I do want you to underline or highlight PA Turnpike Tool Road in your summary. I do want you to use both of those in your summary. And I also included an optional activity. You could research online and find the turnpike route. So what you could do is draw a map of PA and outline the turnpike route. So that's just an optional activity if you would like to do that. Okay, so before I leave you today, I want to make sure you are understanding all of your assignments. Read the article, answer the virtual coins, and write a summary of what you learned in box four. And there you have your optional activity. Boys and girls, it was so awesome to be with you today. I hope you learned a lot about the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Until next week, stay positive, work hard, and make it happen. Because every day is a chance to learn. I am going to leave the lesson and share a cute little song with you. Bye, fourth grade. See you next week.